Opposition MDC leader Douglas Monzora called President Emerson Mnangagwa to air his grievances over the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's decision to bar any seven of the parties aspiring parliamentarians from contesting next week's elections. Monzora, who himself withdrew from the presidential race in protest last Friday, told journalist Mnangagwa had understood his situation, although a court ruling against them was not consistent with what he had told in their private conversation. Sources close to this issue said, actually said that Monzora's call was meant to try and convince President Punangagwa to stop the election and postpone it to at least next year. But this was fatal in that President Munangagwa actually explained to him that it can't be postponed now. So Monzora will, according to the sources, try to use the courts to postpone the elections upcoming elections he does not want an election he prefers a setup where there is a government of national unity that includes himself uh, president Emerson Nangagwa and nelson chamisa so according to Mwanzora, the call that he made to president Nangagwa was actually to complain about the decision to bar the 87 mps from contesting but intel tells us that Mwanzora was actually saying that he wanted to stop the election and if it later on during the year or even next year or suspend it entirely and launch a government of national unit. So while speaking at the Media Institute of Southern Africa dialogue on the upcoming elections, uh, Monsora actually refused that he called uh, President Mnangagwa. MDC will now feel 24 out of 210 members of parliament and an unspecified number in the race for council seats across the country. He said, I did engage with Munangagwa because this was an abnormal development where we had 87 people who were being denied an opportunity to take part in electoral process. We spoke and he agreed with me. He agreed with me on what public policy was the interpretation of the constitution and law. We talked not as president and leader of the opposition, but as lawyers. The candidates qualified in terms of the constitution. Munangagwa understood our case or so he says. What then happened was then inconsistent with what he expressed. Either he was not telling us the truth or he was overruled by his own system. We do not know. Besides meeting Munangagwa, Manzora talked to sex chief elections officer Utoile Selegwana, whom he described as rude, and the commissioner's chairperson Priscilla Jigumba and Nani Bite. This is the first time since its formation in 1999 that the MDC has, has failed to field candidates in more than half the number of expected candidates in a general election. When he was asked on whether this translated to him bearing the MDC, once a monolith in Zimbabwean uh, politics, Wanzura just shifted the blame to his former lieutenants Morgan Komichi, Elias Mudzuri, Togozani Kupe, and the Citizens Coalition for Change who led it at the last harmonized pause. Zimbabweans decide on their next president, parliamentary and council representatives on August 23. That is just eight days away.